Hey guys, it's Jack with Kapwing, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to use the YouTube Shorts Editor. So if you don't know what YouTube Shorts are, they are pretty much exactly a knockoff of what TikTok is. YouTube is highlighting short vertical videos on their platform now called Shorts. Up until this point, everyone has been able to make and upload Shorts just on their own, just by uploading them and having them meet the certain criteria. So under 60 seconds and also using the hashtag Shorts somewhere in the title or in the description. But now there actually is a Shorts Editor directly on the YouTube app. It is in beta so not everyone might have access to this yet, but soon enough, we all will. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the different tools that you can use in the YouTube Shorts Editor. And then after, I'm gonna show you how to do more intricate edits using our free online video editor, Kapoing. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is open the YouTube app, and then you're going to click the plus sign in the bottom, and then up should pop create a short. If it's not there, you probably just don't have access to this feature yet, but if it is there, you can click the create a short button. It is in beta. And then it's going to ask you to access your photos. You definitely wanna do this if you're uploading an already completed and edited video, or if you want to edit in videos that already are on your camera roll. So you will just click select photos, and then you can go through and select certain videos and photos that you want to add. Now you can grab these videos by clicking the little square in the bottom left, and then you can upload videos, and then you can use these sliders to pick which portion of the videos that you want to add. The nice thing about shorts is that you can actually add several different videos that you already have on your phone and edit them into one. On TikTok, you can only edit live footage or you can upload one video, but on here you can upload several different videos and then edit them all together that are already on your camera roll, so that's nice. So you can see I'm just gonna add a few different videos. So let's say I forgot and I wanna make this a 60 second video. You can just click the 15 button and then it'll switch to 60 seconds, which is really nice because in TikTok, once you click 15 seconds, you cannot switch to 60 seconds after that. So that's a nice feature. If you wanna delete any footage, you're just going to click the back button on the bottom left and it should undo. Another nice feature is that if you undo a piece of footage that you can actually redo it using the forward arrows on the bottom, which I think is really helpful with TikTok. Once you delete something, it's over. You can also add music using the top button and then you are able to use music throughout your video. Of course, there is also the flip button on the top right where you can just flip your camera back and forth. There's also the speed button under that. So if you want a slow motion video, you can go at 0.3 times speed or 0.5 times speed. And then if you want it to be in fast motion, you can do two times or three times speed. See, there's also a timer function as well. So it can count down before it starts recording. And then you can also decide how long you want it to record on timer, which is kind of a nice feature. There also are filters as well. You can click by clicking the filters button. And then there are several filters that you can place on your video. This is not the same as like the effects tab on TikTok. YouTube does not seem to have nearly the amount of effects that TikTok does have, so that is one drawback. You, of course, also can record using the red button in the middle. You can zoom in and out, um, and you can also flip by double tapping or clicking the flip button. Another feature you can do is once you are done recording, and if you wanna record another video, you can use the align button on the right bottom, and then it'll show you where you ended up in your last video, so then you can start pretty much from the same place or from a different place if you wanna do something that's completely out of frame. So I can start like right here, and then it looks like I kept talking, or I can record way over here so that it looks different. And then once you're done, you can click the check mark button, and then it gives you a few more options. So you can add music to your video by clicking the music button, and then it gives you all these different options. You also can add text to your video by clicking the text button and then typing in text, hello. You can also click that text and then edit the timing of it. So let's say that I only want it to be in the beginning. Then I'll just slide it over. You can slide it, you can change the font and all of that. Also, one of the most amazing things about this is that there is a timeline. The timeline feature is so Nice. I hate on TikTok when I'm doing captions and then you edit the captions to be only a certain amount of time and then you have to rewatch it a million times and click it before it disappears if you want to edit anything. Not with this. There is a timeline and you can move all the text boxes. I love that feature. I wish TikTok had it desperately. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Then you'll click the next button and then you'll give it a title and then you can make it public, unlisted or private. And then you'll also indicate like who the audience is for. The shorts editor definitely is pretty limiting though. So if you do want to edit more intricately, you can use our online free video editor, Kapwing. So all you're going to do is click the first link in the description. It'll take you to Kapwing, our free online video editor, and go ahead and sign in. And you can sign in with Google or Facebook. It's completely free and it'll just make it so you don't have to export your video with the Kapwing watermark. So then you're going to make a new workspace 
workspace. Then you're going to upload your videos, which you can do by pasting in a link, or you can also upload. So with Kapwing, you definitely have a lot more custom ability. It pretty much has all the same things that YouTube Shorts does, but we just have way more features. So I'm gonna show you some of them. So let's say that you liked just a portion of the video, but not all of it. You can just scroll to where you want it to cut, and then you can click the S button on your keyboard, or you can just right click and click the split button and then you can go ahead and delete videos that way and you can delete portions of videos. What's also nice is that you can add overlay images by clicking the image button and then you can just type in whatever image you want. So let's say I want Spongebob and then you can pick and then you can just place that right on top of your video and that is now part of your video. Another really helpful thing is that you can add multiple audio tracks. So let's say I want to use several different songs. I can just put in a few of them. And now you see you have different layers of audio and you can adjust those as you see fit, but it's just a lot more customizability for sure. One of the best things about Kapwing is that you can also do auto-generated subtitles. This is so nice. All you have to do is just auto-generate and then click auto-generate and it'll populate for you. You can also add subtitles manually or if it's not actually for words and you just wanna write something new like link in my bio then you can do that manually here. And you can move it all up and down the screen. You can change the fonts. Also with the record button, we have the option for you to record a voiceover, which is really nice because I don't think YouTube Shorts actually has a voiceover option. So all you do is allow the microphone, start recording, and then it'll pick up my audio and then it'll go straight into your timeline. Super awesome. Then when you're done, you just press export and you can see that it is now processing. And then once it's done, you can download it and upload straight to YouTube Shorts. And that's it. There really aren't too many tools on YouTube Shorts Editor yet. I'm sure there will probably be more as time goes on. This is still only in beta, but yeah, pretty easy. Probably worth it if you're already making content. You can just re-upload your TikToks or just re-edit them. And you never know, you might find a new niche audience on YouTube Shorts. That's about it, guys. Give this a thumbs up if it was helpful. Comment down below any other video requests that you guys want. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators. Check out the Discord so you can keep up with other Kapwingers and the Kapwing staff. And check out the TikTok where I am doing all sorts of tomfoolery all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.